guys, Coach Nikki here from Savory Sweet Freedom. Welcome. I know I've been live on this page a lot lately, and I'm happy to do that. I finally have like good ideas and some thoughts for you for things, and I love being able to share with you live things. If you're watching this from YouTube, please like and subscribe. Be warned, I have children, and life is happening all around me. So, it gets loud sometimes. It gets maybe hard to hear. There should be captions on a lot of these if um, I'm hard to hear. I do apologize, but I am a normal human being with real live children who are young and uncontainable. So, there's one of them now. Hey, what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? I just put enchiladas in the oven. Um, I'm gonna make banana pudding quick. Okay, so here's the thing. I would, I want to have a YouTube video to go along with all of my, each of my pudding recipes. If you've been on my website, SavorySweetFreedom.com, you're gonna see all of the recipes that I have developed so far. If you have any ideas you'd like me to put on my website, or if you've made a variation that you'd like to see, like to have easier access to, I would be happy to put your uh, recipe on my website if it's a variation of the pudding. Um, I've seen pies, I've seen um, parfaits, I've seen some great stuff. So we're going to make, um, I'm going to make my pudding um, an FP tonight, my banana pudding, uh, because I want to be able to add some cookies and some whipped cream to it. If you want to have it as an E, hey girls, can you stop talking for just a few minutes? No, they can't. Uh, if you want to have it as an E, though, that is also an option. I'll tell you how I do that as we're making it here. So I've scrambled my eggs. My blender has been getting a lot of use lately. So it can both often be found on the dish drying rack. Hot tip. I know this stuff is kind of sticky from all the egg whites. I'm just putting my egg whites in the blender right now that I cooked up one cup of egg whites. This recipe can be found on my website, savorysweetfreedom.com. Banana pudding. Um, if you want a quick way to clean your blender, add a little bit of soap after you've scraped out all the pudding, uh, and add a, about a third or quarter of the way full of water, so like to here, and then blend, blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it, it'll wash the whole inside out for you, and it's perfect, works great. I just put dinner in the oven, baby. So, in a few minutes it will be done. Okay? Alright. We're going to add... So this is a very similar base recipe to all my puddings. I've kind of adapted them a little bit. As we go here. There's Ruby. Uh, we're going to go with a quarter cup of almond milk. Okay? That's in. Uh, I reduced the quarter cup to a quarter cup for the... Um, the non-cocoa recipes because the cocoa really thickens a lot better than um, than whey protein. So we go with a quarter cup of almond milk for these. Um, oh, guys, let me just pick that up. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys have seen. I posted a lot about it today, but we're having our flash sale for coaching. Today only $20 off, so after the today, midnight tonight on Valentine's Day 2021, 2022, 2022, um, the price goes up. So if you want to get into coaching for March with a Leap Into Faith Coaching, me and Sarah Truitt, we would love for you to join us. Um, I'll put the link in the description of this video too. So um, I'm doing a tablespoon of peanut powder. Let me tell you why. Okay, peanut powder, that seems weird in banana pudding, right? It seems weird in vanilla pudding. It's not, okay? It has just enough flavor to cover the egginess of um, the, the egg whites, okay? So trust me. Nope, don't know. Trust me on this. You want to use the tablespoon of peanut powder. Uh, it works as a thickener. Um, and it masks that eggy flavor. If you like the custardy flavor, though, uh, you could skip it. And then we're going to, I have vanilla protein powder here. We're going to do a half a cup. So these scoops that used to come with the protein powder are a quarter cup. So we're going to do two of them. Got my super helpful helper here helping me. Okay, 
guys having a good Valentine's? You doing anything fun? Do you get bored? Oh. You're going to tell them Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Evie. She had her Valentine's party at school. Okay, we're going to do a quarter cup of Gentle Sweet. You know you can, you can experiment with the sweetness. I make, this is probably a little less sweet than a lot of people like. But I've kind of got to a point in my True Milky Mama journey where I don't need to have some things like so potently sweet. I think your taste changes a lot as time moves on. Um, we're going to do a half a teaspoon you wanna of blue tea, candy? half a teaspoon. This Mama, is just to thicken it up. This won't give it any, this won't give it a glucky texture, I promise. Um, we don't want that. If you are sensitive to glucky, I would say use um, Zampan gum. Or you could bloom like a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of gelatin, depending on how thick you want it. Bloom that in your almond milk before you dump it in. Um, and that should sit, set up nicely in the refrigerator too. Um, I'm going to add some vanilla and some banana. One teaspoon of vanilla. This is homemade vanilla. If you want me to make a video on how I make vanilla, you just like comment vanilla. Um, and I'll show you how I've been using the same vanilla beans for like almost four years now. So um, it's a lot cheaper than buying vanilla in the store, let me tell you. Uh, then I have some banana, Trim Healthy Mama banana extract here. We're going to go with half a teaspoon of this. This stuff's pretty potent. You could probably even go a little less than that. Um, and it, at this point is when you could add about a, like a quarter or a third of a banana. That's also going to thicken this up, um, but that's going to make this, this is, that's going to make this an eat if you would add a part of a banana to this. But then you could also slice banana up on top. Um, on top of your pudding after it sets, and I'm just going to tell you, super good, super good. If you wanted to make this deep S, use the three whole eggs and one quarter cup of egg whites and leave everything the same, but then you're not going to want to put whipped cream or vanilla wafers on top, and then want to skip the whole regular real banana. Um, but this right now is just a straight up pea that's good in every meal setting. I'm going to blend it up really quick, so give me just a hot second here. still some chunks of banana or of egg white that have gotten up flinged up onto the side here oh my gosh friends this smells so good this smells so good okay we're gonna blend this one more time I'm gonna use this recipe to take some pictures for my website because I didn't quite get that done yet website once it's once it's cooled here that'll be my little image for the recipe so I hope you guys are having that is so good you need to go make this this is so good okay I'm gonna put the recipe recipes up on my website right now I'm gonna upload this video to YouTube if you guys are watching from YouTube please like and follow I appreciate all of your watches and follows and likes I appreciate all of it you're just helping me get um, more more exposure to the world, Trim Healthy Mama, exposing more people to the world and um, helping people eat healthier. 
So I hope you guys love this recipe. All oh, the cookies that I like on this are salted. I love these high key salted caramel cookies. But uh, high key also makes a vanilla wafer that's really good too. But these are good. These are a personal choice. So just be sparing with them. Just use a few cookies. That's really all you need anyways. And it's going to be like you're a kid again and your mom made you banana pudding. And you're going to just like be brought back in time. Transported if you will. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you have a great Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you want me to make that vanilla video. I know you do, Terry. Have a great Valentine's Day. I hope your week is great, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.